welcome back to my channel Alex here if you've never seen these big old cheeks before then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for today's video I wanted to come through I finally have a foundation review and demo for you guys it's been a long time since I've reviewed a foundation and I you guys know if you've been rocking with me for a long time then you know I've been trying to use up my foundation stash like all of it before I really dove in and got any more foundation so I haven't used up all of my foundations, but I threw one in the trash that was almost done and I was like, I can definitely go and shop for a new foundation now. And one of them that I really wanted to try is by Clinique. I've tried Clinique foundations before and this one I really wanted to get my hands on. This is not new. It's been up for a minute, but it's new to me. So if you've never heard about it, then me and you. Are on the same page all right so this is the Clinique Beyond perfecting foundation and concealer in one so you definitely don't need a concealer according to this and it's supposed to be moderate to full coverage it's allergy tested 100% fragrance free and all of that stuff it's supposed to give a naturally flawless look to your skin that lasts all day so I'm excited about this so let me get a little bit closer to you guys so you guys can really see how this looks on my skin so you guys already know if you've been with me for a while if you're new to my channel hi again <laughs> i do not have perfect skin i have acne prone combination skin i've had it all my life um i don't remember ever not having a mark or spot or pimple on my face so that's what's gonna happen here today i'm gonna show you it a real deal you're gonna get the full tea on this i don't have perfect skin like i said before so you're definitely going to see if this foundation is full coverage do you see these marks that's going to be the telltale, all right? So before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and throw on my face oil. This is by Drunk Elephant. It's their Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. And I've been using this for a minute. Like, it's really, really moisturizing. And it makes my skin feel so good. Like, I don't have to go in with any more creams or anything like that. I'm really moisturized. It's lightweight. It's not oily or anything like that. So, whew. Once that goodness is all on my skin, I'm going to go in with a primer. And I've been obsessed with this one from, by Cover FX. It's their blurring primer. And what it does is it fills in any um, pores and fine lines and things like that. So I just put that and concentrate that mostly in my T-zone because that's where my largest pores are and that's where I get oiliest the most. And anything left over, I just rub it all over my face but I concentrate most of it right in this area, especially in this area. If you've got any other tricks or anything like that that you do, I know some people who have oily skin, they would always go in with probably a powder, put on powder first to make sure that nothing moves, but because I want to give this foundation a real chance, I definitely won't do that today, so let's go on in with this. I think the most, or the most favorite thing that I love about it is the packaging. It's not a pump, I know we all love a good pump, but this one is really easy to use. It has that really huge stick right there, that really huge concealer stick. And I got the shade, this is the color 26 Amber. And I think it's a really good match for me. I'm just going to slather that on there. I'm just going to do one side of my face so that you guys can really see what's going on with this. So that's on there. Now you can use a beauty blender with this. I've used this foundation one time before and the beauty blender was good. I'm going to use a brush today. This is a buffer brush by Moda. You guys, I know I love Moda brushes. And this is from their Prismatic collection. And I think this one came in a set. And since this foundation is not on the runny side, it is a little bit thick. I don't like to swirl it because then the color gets away from you. If that makes sense because you're moving the product around so I just want you all to really see how this looks on me and I want you all to see the coverage as we go Alright you guys, so that's one half of my face done, okay? I did match to my chest, so 
that's why you might be like, why is your face a different color? Yes, my face is a different color from the rest of my body. So you guys can really see how this covers and it does a really good job. Like I said, it's moderate to full coverage. So in certain areas, I know that I'm gonna need a little bit more like right here where some of my deeper scarring is. I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more product, but I just wanted you guys to see how it covers and how it matched me. I think I got a good color match. Like I said, this is 26 amber. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my face. So here we are just straight foundation. I haven't done anything else to my skin So as you can see it gives you like a natural skin like finish so my skin is all glowy It looks really really good and you guys saw the coverage firsthand like Real-time coverage like it does a good job covering now. There are some sections that have deeper darker scars like a, like maybe one or two on underneath my jawline I can still see them very faintly and that's okay That's something that can definitely be covered with a little bit more concealer or If you want to go ahead and add a little bit more of the foundation or if you have a powder foundation that can add a little bit more coverage as well But you don't want to pile on a lot of foundation um, Especially if it already says it is full coverage this one so far doesn't feel like it's going to get cakey at all but I like it both with a beauty blender and a buffing brush or a stippling brush, whichever you prefer to use. But I loved how it applied with my Moda Buffer brush um, from their Prismatic collection. So I really liked how it looked with it. And I am just, like it's a little bit more product on here. So I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of the product down here. Always make sure to come down on your neckline, especially when you want to blend into your foundation. And the tip here, if you wear your hair up, make sure to come behind your ear. Yeah, sometimes we can have some discoloration in the back there and we don't even know. So make sure to carry your brush up in the back if you're going to be wearing your hair in a high ponytail as well. But I'm going to set and do the rest of my face and I'm going to come back to you guys with my final thoughts. Okay, I'm back through the magic of editing. So I have to say that I am very impressed with this foundation. One of the things like I said earlier that I really love about it is the fact that the packaging is a really unique in terms of the fact that it just looks like one big concealer. And I like the fact that I don't have to pump, I don't have to shake it out, I don't have to do any of that. I just pull the wand out, slather on my face, and I'm done. So here are the things that I love about this foundation. Love the packaging. I said earlier I like the fact that it's just one big concealer wand. I do like the coverage, even though I will say it is more more on the medium full coverage side. It's not super duper full coverage. We have some really heavy full coverage um, foundations out there and this isn't super heavy duty full coverage, but it can be built up to that. I can say that about it because you can see I have flawless skin right now and I'm super duper excited about it. I like the fact that it's lightweight on the skin. I don't feel heaviness when I wear this or anything like that. I haven't experienced a breakout after wearing this, so that's always great. Great. So Clinique is really good about their skincare, so I expect nothing less out of their foundation. So that's something good about this. In terms of the colors, they do have a nice color range. I do wish it was a little bit more broader in terms of the options for dark skin. So I do hope they expand on the shade range for this. But so far, so good in terms of the formula and how it works on my skin and how it feels on my skin. I really like this foundation, guys. So do pick this up. I think this one is more like an everyday kind of foundation. I wouldn't pull this out if you're going for that super duper glam like this is more of an everyday foundation you cannot beat the price of this is about 27 28 dollars you get around let's see one fluid ounce of product it's really good in terms of your bang for your buck so do pick this up if you're looking for something that's affordable and that's going to look 
amazing on the skin as you can see I am really happy with it my skin loves it so far and I think you definitely need this in your foundation life as right, you guys so that's it for today's video don't forget as always let me know down in the comment section what you thought about today's video have you tried this foundation let me know if you liked it and if it worked for you if not go ahead and pick this one up guys you won't regret it like I said it's a great everyday foundation and really good for fall and as always if you want more in-depth type of write-up and you want to read more about it I always have write-ups of everything that I talk about here on my YouTube channel go on head on over to the blog so you can check a little bit more write-ups in terms of wear time and all that stuff for this foundation all right you guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have and I will see you in my next video really really soon bye guys